let's get into the training update. What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. If this is your first time on the channel, my name is Brendan and on this channel we talk all things running, marathon training, to triathlon, anything endurance sports, anything in that realm, we talk about here on this channel. That could be gear, that could be shoe reviews. So if you're into that, hit that subscribe button and maybe if you're enjoying the content, hit that like button right down there. It would mean a lot. We together can defeat those pesky algorithms. This is the first training week update that I'm going to give. So the way that I'm going to flow these videos are first I'm going to give you the purpose of the week and then I'm going to give you the workouts I did that week, how they went, all that good stuff, the gear I used during those runs and did I think that it worked well for me or what? Who knows? Then I'm going to give you some lessons learned for each of the the workouts if they're applicable or maybe it will just be an overall week lesson that I learned things that you can apply to your own training and then I'm going to give you my pick of the week for gear so I typically unfortunately spend a little bit more money than I should on buying new running upgrades or just anything sports tech related I am uh, kind of a sucker for it I'm, I'm not gonna lie so you can expect to see new gear quite often and I'm going to give you guys the gear that helped me out the most throughout the week so that's pretty exciting. And then I'm gonna give you the tip of the week that I think you should all be applying to your own training. Something that has helped me, it doesn't have to be gear related and this week especially isn't gear related and something you can do that will make a pretty major impact. The purpose of this week is still building that aerobic base. It's because I've been out of the game of training for longer than I, I really like to admit if I'm being perfectly honest. It's been a few months, if not more, and my body is definitely not what it used to be. So I'm building the mileage back up slowly and going at the lower paces. So if you haven't seen the video from a couple days ago, I'm doing the Maffetone method. And essentially what that is, is a form of low heart rate training where you keep your heart rate below a certain maximum aerobic function heart rate, which is calculated based off your age and some other preconditions. I'll, how about I just leave a little link to it up here somewhere. You can click on the card if you wanna know more about that. And essentially, what I want to do is keep my heart rate below 150 beats per minute. That's my theoretical math heart rate. I'm 25, I have allergies, so that's the number we end up on. So all of the work you'll see here this week are exceptionally low because I don't think that I can even train within that 140 to 150 uh, mathetome range. So I've been trying to keep it below that 140 mark on average and honestly it hasn't been too too bad. There has been some struggles because I <laughs> It's kind of a very mentally draining thing running that slow. It's You feel like you can go faster, so you're constantly holding yourself back so you're not creeping up in that range, and it's just a, it's a tug of war with yourself. It's pretty nuts. So the purpose of this week is to keep on building that aerobic base, and this phase will continue for the next couple of weeks at least. I might do a time trial on my birthday, which is June 17th, so we'll see. And I also have a very special thing coming in the mail on Monday. Let's just say it's pretty bright and it's a pair of carbon plated racing shoes. Leave your, leave your guesses of what that could be down in the comments section down below. I'm pretty fired up for that. So I did a workout every single day, Monday to Friday, just like a job, just like a dang job. We were out there running and biking. I'm trying to do, my main focus is gonna be on running for the next few months at least because I wanna get to that marathon distance at the end of the summer. So you'll see that I'm sprinkling in a little bit of cycling, but that's mainly for recovery days. So Monday, Tuesday, both runs. I had an average pace of 6.44 per kilometer for both of those runs. Felt pretty good, not bad at all. The average heart rate on Monday was 137, average heart rate on Tuesday, 144. So. Yeah, not bad. It was a little bit hotter on Tuesday, so that makes sense. Heart rate would be a little bit higher. But if you hold on just a minute, I'm going to tell you something absolutely insane that happened during later the week. It's, I couldn't believe it. But anyway, Wednesday. Wednesday, we did a little bit of a recovery bike ride for, had an average heart rate of 123 beats per minute. The cycling, I don't think that it's really worth measuring the pace because that changes depending on the course really a lot. So I do it based on power and my average power was 137 watts for that weighted average power. I'm pretty happy with that. Not sure, why not? Why not? Then Thursday, we got the shoes laced back up. 
and we went for another run with an average pace of six minutes and 50 seconds per kilometer, had an average heart rate of 134. What that, so, okay. 137 on Monday for 644, 134 on Thursday for 650. That makes sense. But then Friday comes along. And this is where things get pretty nuts to me. I don't know what has gotten into me over the last few days. I did six minutes and 16 seconds per kilometer on that Friday run for an average heart rate of 134. That's pretty crazy. That's a 30 second per kilometer increase for a three beats per minute second per three beats per minute average heart rate lower than my Monday run. And it was a shorter run and it was hotter on Friday. So I don't know what my body's getting into, but if it can keep that up, I'll probably be in the Olympics in 2021 if they're still offering qualifying spots. So who knows, I, I might be there, right there with you. And the shoes that I wore for all these runs was a mix of these two suckers right here. The Hoka Rincon number no. uno, which I dropped my full, my initial impressions for yesterday. So go check that out. And the Triumph 17, which I dropped my initial impressions on quite a while ago. We're almost to the full review territory for this guy right here. And he's looking fantastic. Looking as good as ever. Oh, love this shoe. So that wraps up the workouts. They haven't been anything special, but they're gonna get better as time progresses, I promise you. Now the gear I've used throughout this week, of course, we're going with the Garmin Phoenix 5 watch. I've had this thing for a while now, it's trusty. I have no complaints with that. And you'll see that watch being used until I get a new one. Who knows when that will be? I might get a little bit of cheap one to review for you folks. Stay tuned for that. I used the Stride foot pod to measure running power and cadence. And like, you can also measure your leg spring stiffness and all that other stuff, vertical oscillation, stuff I don't really understand because I'm not very smart. So I just use that for power and cadence. That's all I really care about for that guy. For the running shorts, I know you're gonna think, why is he talking to us about running shorts? But this is important. These running shorts I have right here are the Solomon Training XA shorts, I believe they're called. And I fell in love with them as soon as I put them on. Now, the magic of these guys is they have a built-in flip belt. So if you don't know what a flip belt is, it's where you can store all your goodies when you're out there running. And I was able to keep my GoPro, my phone, my keys, all that good stuff in here. All right, I, I got to... I gotta put those to the side here. And yes, I shouldn't have to say this, but everything here I have purchased with my own money. I'm not getting paid to say anything about this stuff. If anyone wants to send me that, I would gladly accept that. But I would still speak what's on my mind. You can't, no one's gonna bring me down. No capitalist society will keep me down with my opinions, okay? And the next piece of gear that I started using this week that I absolutely loved was a flip belt itself. And yeah, so this is essentially, like I just said, somewhere you can stash your goodies, your gels, hydration, if you have those little bottles that can fit in here. And you know what? It's very thick. So I think on hot days, it's gonna be pretty darn soaked and it'll act as a nice, I can wring it out and get myself some extra water if I'm really thirsty. I'm, I'm sorry for that image. I didn't mean to gross you up. Please don't leave. And please don't leave a dislike. I'm, I'm sorry. That's the gear I've used. And like I said, I used these two shoes right here. I've, of course I've worn shirts, but you don't need to know what shirt I wore. I, I was wearing a singlet for some days cause it's starting to get warmer. All that good stuff. Just normal gear guys, just normal darn shirts. The gear of the week, we're gonna, we're just gonna skip right to this point because we're talking about gear anyway. So the gear of the week for me has to go to the Solomon training shorts. These guys, are fantastic, like I said, and I picked them up on sale at Aerobics First here in Halifax. So if you're from the Nova Scotia area, go check these out. I think I paid 40 bucks for them, regular 75, but I would pay that $75 price point. They're nice and breathable, they're light, they have a spot in the back for my phone, and I have one of these like big Pixel 3 XLs that like, it's hard to fit them in any sort of running pocket, but my God, it did so well. So that's my gear of the week is the Solomon training shorts. I'll leave a link to them down below. It's not an affiliate link or anything like that. It's just something to get the information out there for you fine folks. Okay, let's move on to the lessons learned from this week. One of the biggest lessons I've learned, and it hurts, it actually hurts, is I need to start wearing sunscreen. I, uh, 
For some reason, I underestimated the intensity of the sun this week and I didn't put any on and sure enough, my shoulders and my neck burnt. But that's fine. It doesn't actually hurt that much. I'm just complaining to complain. But I do need to start wearing sunscreen to protect this skin. It's looking really nice and smooth, you know. There's no blemishes. Just don't look at my nose here. But there's, yeah, there's no blemishes. Just looking like a, looking like a prom king every single day. Looking like a darn prom king. Another lesson that I learned was that I need to continue doing my glute activation, stretching, and plyometrics. The plyometrics especially are important for me to get warmed up and to loosen everything because I am as tight as a seal rod. You can't really pull my muscles that much. I can't really stretch up my muscles that much or they will actually snap. I haven't getting more nimble and easier to move. I can definitely feel that. So I just gotta keep on doing these plyometrics, glute activation, and keep up my recovery. Because in the past, I've been really, really slacking on all those three things. And my speed and overall feeling when I'm running is definitely much worse when I don't incorporate those things. And my tip of the week for you goes back to the plyometrics. Using those to warm up has been a game changer for me. It's allowing my hips to stretch out more when I'm doing my stride. My cadence is getting quicker. I'm feeling more nimble and light and bouncy and I really do think that it's because of the plyometrics. I'm sure it has to do with me being running more often and getting my fitness back but the plyometrics I can't remember the last time that I felt like this really because I've always been so tight but now I'm feeling feeling like a gymnast almost except not really at all but getting close to that. All right guys that is my training roundup for this week. If you want to hear it again next week make sure to hit that subscribe button and we have some very special videos coming for you this week talking about what is arriving on Monday. I can't wait so make sure to hit that subscribe button and of course let's destroy that YouTube algorithm with that like button. I will catch you on the next one. Have a fantastic evening. Drink your espresso. Make sure it's black. Have a good night.